Rochester and Winona Catholic schools may have a new policy on gender identity. The policy sets rules in place that specifically impact students within the LGBTQ plus community. Only on KTTC, our Camaria Bray has been working on this story and joins us live tonight in the studio with more. Camaria. Well, the seven page document was posted on the Diocese of Winona Rochester's website, but has been taken down. We obtained a copy. It states that all students in Rochester and Winona Catholic schools will be recognized by their gender at birth. Now there have been more than 700 online signatures petitioning against implementing this policy. As Lord High School students begin their new school year, some are skeptical with how the rest of the year will go after this new policy could be put into place, potentially singling out students within the LGBTQ community. It says students shall conduct themselves in accord with their biological sex at all times. It also states students shall be addressed at all times by their legal names and referred to with pronouns consistent with their biological sex. But I think even if you don't support the LGBT community for your religious beliefs, I think you should at least be able to respect someone's opinion, especially in a place of education. This Lord student who we are not identifying is an LGBTQ ally and feels this policy leads the Rochester Catholic schools in the wrong direction. It already has massive pushback and I can't imagine how much more it's going to get and how much this would lead to it just doesn't look good for the system. A Lord alumni and former teacher couldn't agree more. Still sad. I think mostly sad that a school system that I grew up in and taught us that acceptance is what we need to do is not accepting some of their students. Amanda Pfeifferone is a part of the LGBTQ community. She now teaches in Thailand and believes in honoring student preferences. So, I mean, but my students here who are like, hey, can you please call me they, them, or I would like to be she, them. Can you refer to me in class as that? Sure, great, not a problem. And I do it and I see the smile on their face. And I think that is something that students who are part of the diocesan who are experiencing this will not get. They won't get the acceptance that they want with this policy. And that makes me sad. The policy says using preferred names and pronouns will cause confusion for other students and could act as a source of scandal and has a section on dates for dances regarding same sex couples. You can't take a same sex relationship to a dance. You're missing out on all these high school experiences that you'd be able to have at the Rochester Public Schools. We reached out to the diocese and got this response. This policy regarding gender identity is in the process of implementation, which includes consultation with our school board members, staff and parents. After the completion of this process, the diocese will speak more directly on the contents of the policy. I think that the best case scenario would be they change the policy so at least they're kind of apathetic to the situation where they say we don't personally support it but we're going to allow it to happen. Again, we did reach out to the Diocese of Winona Rochester who gave us a statement that the policy is in the process of being implemented and there is no timeline on when this could go into place. Back to you.